Would you please join me in the 2021 Campbell University graduation invocation? Would you join in invocation? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence here. We thank you for our graduates. We thank you for our family. We thank you for our parents. And we thank you for our faculty. And we thank you for our staff. It is either directly or indirectly been a part of this journey. We ask your blessings on our graduates. We pray that uh, they would find careers that are rewarding, re uh, careers that are remunerative, that they pay or pay well, careers that are rewarding. For those of uh, our graduate who will go on to pursue academic uh, choices, may they find programs that are appropriate may they find rewarding and careers may they find uh, citizenships which are uh, meet the need all these things we pray in the name of jesus amen Greetings from the Office of the President. Now this is to all our Campbellsville University graduates, their families and friends, faculty and staff, all those who have gathered in this assembly. Wow, an assembly. Just, just look around you for a moment. How long has it been since we can say that we can do this? Yet here I am coming to you virtually. And I apologize for this video abstract of, of reality. But did you know that we're having 17 of these assemblies? That's right, 17 across the width and breadth of Campbellsville University all the way from Kentucky to California. This really demonstrates the growth that has occurred at CU in these recent years. And unfortunately for me, that means that I'm going to have to use this avenue to arrive to be with you and to be on time in order to get to the next place where well, you understand. And besides, I have to tell you, my old regalia, get a little thread more, I don't know that it could handle 17 in one week. But make no mistake, this is a momentous occasion, albeit with a much smaller group than would be the norm, but, but today is, is not about pomp and circumstance. It's not about caps and gowns. It's not about speakers and music. Today is about each of you, the graduate, that within your di discipline and surrounded by your fellow students and your faculty, this is your milestone. So, <clears throat> how do we celebrate milestones? Of course, I want you to do a selfie. No, no, really. I, I, re I really want you to do a selfie with me in just a moment. So, so get your phone, and now turn to someone and, and get your phone or have them there with their phone ready uh, for this digital moment because it's coming up at, uh, here. Graduates, everyone is really gathered here to celebrate your victory, your triumph, your, your achievement, your graduation. So congratulations. I pray God's blessing on each of you today and, and always as you open this new chapter in your life. Okay, so while I'm still on the screen, I want you to get your phone out, right? See, I've got my phone right here. We're all going to do a selfie. And it turned around, so you're doing the selfie, right? So really, really, do a selfie with me, okay? I'm looking. I don't see you out there. Everybody get the phones up. I hope you had your phone up, took the selfie. Send that to, well, I don't know if you can send, everybody can send it to me, but send it to someone. Let them know that Campbellsville University is together even when we may be apart. Thanks again, and congratulations.
Good morning. On behalf of the faculty, I would like to welcome you all and your guests to your graduation ceremony. This is a moment to celebrate all that you've accomplished and all that you've overcome to reach this point. Since we are unable to print an agenda due to COVID restrictions, I'd like to tell you what to expect for the remainder of the ceremony. After my brief comments, you'll hear from one of your colleagues to, uh, to hear a commencement address. You will then be directed down to the stage by Jennifer Lauer and Jamie Lawrence by row. You'll cross the, you'll hand your name card to Provost Hedgepath and then cross to the left side of the stage to receive your diploma from your lead professor. You'll have two opportunities for photos. First, with your lead professor uh, while wearing a mask and secondly, uh, by yourself without a mask. You'll receive a copy of these photos from the Office of Communications via email. Uh, we'll first confer the undergraduate degrees, then confer a few master's degrees of justice studies. Following the conferral of degrees, you'll hear from Ashley Fox, our director of alumni relations uh, for, that will connect you to our uh, amazing alumni network. Dr. Eric Bruns will close out the ceremony with a word of benediction. Once again, congratulations on reaching this stage in your academic career. Enjoy this moment because you've earned it and you've worked a long time to be at this point. And now, please join me in welcoming Maggie Parrish to the stage to deliver a commencement address. It's at least like 180 right now. Good morning, graduates, families, friends, and faculty. The day has finally come. Today we celebrate the end of an era, the beginning of a new chapter. We turn the page, new journeys begin, and new doors will open. Choose whichever cliche phrase that you would like in this moment, but take a second to embrace this long-awaited milestone. The hard work has officially paid off, and I think it's safe to say that we've earned this moment. Every tear shed, every hour spent studying, every test and every new gray hair that we gave our families and professors has definitely been worth it. The sparkle that you see in the room today is either the glow of excitement or maybe the gray hair coming in on your heads, but I'll leave that up for interpretation. Regardless, here we are. Everything experienced in the past few years has influenced us in ways that we never would have imagined. Personally, I feel like a completely different individual than the scared green freshman that I was when I came to Camelsville. Now I've promoted to a scared ripe graduate. All jokes aside for now, I've been greatly influenced by my many incredible experiences during my time here at CU. As a student athlete in cross country and track, I had the opportunity to gain an understanding of what it means to utilize your gifts for the glory of God. I had a program that invested in me physically, mentally, and spiritually. I also learned the values of hard work, time management, servant leadership, responsibility, and of course, a good nap. Because of my experiences as a student athlete, I will forever carry with me precious memories, lifelong friendships, life skills, brothers and sisters in Christ, and chronic knee pain. Overall, college has challenged me to discover how to be my best self and how to pursue the path that God has intended. And speaking of challenges, somebody said something about a pandemic, I'm not really sure. Um, but about a year ago, our worlds were flipped upside down. I think I can speak on behalf of all graduates when I say that COVID presented many of the biggest challenges throughout this college experience. Nonetheless, we made it through, and that's something to be proud of. Last year, we left for supposedly two weeks, and we came back five months later. We had to cancel plans, leave our friends, pick up extra hobbies or maybe extra pounds, and of course help Dr. Howell navigate the realm of virtual learning. Despite the challenges, God has made beauty from the ashes and walked us through this strange new normal. The day that I got canned, I mean quarantined, sorry, I packed my bags between sobbing sessions and a few mental breakdowns. Challenge was an understatement. But as it turned out, it was the perfect opportunity to write the 15-page paper that I had just pushed to the back burner. 
Time after time, we were guided to simply make the most of all situations. And I realize now that that aspect of new normal needs to become the indefinite normal. Through the experiences and challenges faced, we all achieve life lessons that will be carried with us wherever we go. I believe that we all developed a greater appreciation of our daily activities, our relationships, and our health. We learned to never take things for granted and to count our blessings. My hope and prayer for each graduate is that you forever take this lesson with you. Nothing of this world is ever promised, but God's promises will always prevail. It is our duty to live according to his plans and not our own. And I can't wait to see where his plans take each of you. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Maggie. We have the best students and graduates in the country. I say that, remind myself often. We take that for granted maybe, but so proud of you guys and I, I just love our students and you're gonna do great things. I'm excited. Uh, those of you who are wondering, I am Donna Hedgepath. I serve as Provost, Vice President for Academic Affairs, Chief Academic Officer, whatever you wanna call me. Uh, but this is, a really good perk of my job is to uh, recognize our graduates during graduation. And even though it is a different time, it's a unique and innovative approach to graduation. And I'll tell you, I didn't, do, I, again, I can show up and I look good in my robe and I'll speak, but these guys put it together, they plan it, they blood, sweat, and tears, all the details, and I'm so thankful for our faculty and staff, and I know you graduates understand what I'm talking about. Um, we have a, a really good team. Uh, thanks to Dr. Marino, and I, I would be remiss, I'm gonna say something about Damon Eubank. Dr. Eubank, you said our invocation this morning. <clears throat> it's very meaningful to me to see him today, and I just wanted to thank you for being here. And um, he's had a rough year in addition to the pandemic physically. And uh, we just have a, a really strong-hearted, determined team of faculty who want to be here for our students, and you're showing that today, Dr. Eubank. So I just, would you join me as we welcome him for being here today? Thank you. Dr. Eubank serves as the chair of the Division of Social Sciences, and so this is a very special moment for him as well. I, we have a, a special uh, honor, recognition, that I do want to mention today. Uh, we had hoped that a family member would be here to accept this, but it, before I start the conferral and the recognition of graduates, uh, we have a, a colleague in the, uh, at Campbellsville University, actually, who worked at our, our Harrodsburg site, served as our soccer coach. And uh, he, uh, his life was taken a few months ago in a tragic car accident. His name was Garrick Stark. And uh, he would have walked today with his degree in liberal arts and sciences with a concentration in human performance. So uh, we are issuing his diploma posthumously to his daughter, uh, who could not be here. She lives in Florida, but I do want to recognize him as we do miss him as well and uh, want to honor his contribution to just the growth of athletics at our Harrisburg location. So um, because this is being streamed, I would appreciate a round of applause for Garrick Starks and what he has meant to us. Thank you. So congratulations, graduates. Again, we're taking a little bit of a different approach. If we were in the Powell Athletic Center on a Saturday morning, burning up, sweating on top of each other, that's always the fun part. So this is kind of nice, if you want to make lemonade out of lemons here. Um, I would present you to the president who would then officially confer your degree. Uh, because Dr. Spears, as you saw in his video, is not here with us, I am uh, going to recognize the fact that you are conferring your degree and what that really means is that you meet the requirements for graduation. Some of you may be, you might have a few more little things to do or something to do this summer to take care of that, and that's okay. 
so the official conferral comes on your transcript with that date of graduation. And again, congratulations on that. But we will do one important thing before you walk across the stage. So I'm gonna ask you to stand with me, all graduates. So for this particular moment and special occasion in front of your peers and your family, and upon meeting the requirements of your degree, I ask you now to move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations. Also, I would like to announce Saturday evening, we will release an official commencement video, which will highlight all the traditional commencement aspects of a regular commencement that will feature more of the president and other pieces of that ceremony with the charge and the response to the charge and, and the alma mater and everything. So please uh, catch that. I believe it's Saturday evening around six or seven that, that will be announced. So starting now, uh, Ms. Lauer is going to bring you over by row, and you will hand your card to her, and as I, I will say your name, as you take your walk across the stage, I want you to enjoy it. It's okay to clap for them and, in, and enjoy the time that they have here today. Starting with Dalton F. Hammond, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice with a double major in Psychology. <laughs> Cody Hunter Hillock, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Hunter Douglas Lepper, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, double major in Psychology. Jessica P. Lopez Ramos, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Kinley Dawn Mitchell, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, double major in Sociology. Maggie Danielle Parrish, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice, double major in Psychology, also receiving the Dr. Jacqueline Sandifer Criminal Justice Award of Distinction. Aaron Christopher Schoenbackler, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Patrick Eugene Worf, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice with a double major in Psychology, also receiving the Criminal Justice Award. Jordan E. Bass, Bachelor of Science, Criminal Justice. <laughs> J. 
Jonah Gregory Carter, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Japheth E. Raphael, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Imani Washington, Bachelor of Science in Criminal Justice. Kerrigan Hope Osborne, Bachelor of Science in Legal Studies with a double major in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Nathan Lorne Luttrell, Bachelor of Science in History. William Ian Caleb Rigsby, Bachelor of Science in History. <laughs> Jesse Jack Stotts, Bachelor of Science in History. Kiwa Katamitsu, Bachelor of Arts in International Studies. Dina May Sissel, Bachelor of Science in Liberal Arts and Science. <laughs> Elsa Marie Dishman, Bachelor of Science in Liberal Arts and Science. Abby Powers, Bachelor of Science in Liberal Arts and Science. <laughs> Hillary Brooks Roy, Bachelor of Science, Liberal Arts and Science. Hunter Clay Kelly, Bachelor of Science in Political Science. <laughs> J. 
Jordan Landon Chiro, Bachelor of Science in Political Science. Malcolm Shamar Walker, Bachelor of Science in Political Science. Hunter Wayne McCubbins Wilson, Bachelor of Science in Political Science with a double major in Criminal Justice. Savannah Brooke Lang, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Maya Brian Smith Henderson, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, double major in Sociology, and is receiving the Sociology Award. Evelyn Grace Medill, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Valedictorian, and receiving the Psychology Award. Allison McKenzie Pruitt, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Morgan Faith Mounts. Bachelor of Science in Psychology with a double major in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Kelly Renee Overstreet, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, double major in Criminal Justice. Anna Grace Peterson, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. <laughs> Catlin Marie Pizzo, Bachelor of Science, Psychology. Allison Faith Salee, Bachelor of Science in Psychology with a double major in Criminal Justice. Gabrielle 
Valles, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Meredith Ann Woods, Bachelor of Science in Psychology, double major in Criminal Justice. <laughs> Andrew Giles Edwards, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Ethan Thomas Bernauer, Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Luke Weston Cave, Bachelor of Arts in Music with a double major in Psychology. Billy J. Burgett, Bachelor of Science in Sport Management with a double major in Psychology. <laughs> Addison Pelupezzi, Bachelor of Science in Sociology. We're ready for the Master of Science and Justice Study graduates, and um, we have a speech. As a graduate of the University of Louisville with a degree in organizational leadership, he's a graduate of the FBI's National Academy. He's currently an 18 year veteran of the Elizabethtown Police Department, serving as the Deputy Chief of Operations there, overseeing all the patrol and investigative operations in that department. He is David Figgett. I didn't practice this with this tassel, so hopefully it doesn't mess up reading this actual speech. <clears throat> Good morning, and thank you for such a, a warm welcome. It is a great honor and privilege to have the opportunity to speak with you today. But before I begin, I'd like to take a brief moment to say thank you to the families of the graduates here today. While most of today's advancers is centered around their accomplishments, please know that without your support, none of this would be possible. I thank you for the support that you have given us throughout this process. Graduates, we now join approximately 13% of Americans who have the privilege of saying they have earned a master's degree. You should take pride in what you've accomplished here today. For some of you, this is merely a step in your continued pursuit toward higher education. For others, this may be the end of your academic career, but regardless of which group you belong to, the question you should be asking yourself is, what now? Now that you have overcome this hurdle in life, what is your next step? What are you gonna do with this academic success? Most of us will have it framed. We might even hang it in our office. But is that it? Are we simply checking a box to say that we did it? Or are we trying to use the lessons learned through this institution to make a difference? You have been given, through your hard work and the expertise of the faculty within this university, the necessary tools to affect positive change 
and positive change is needed in our country today. As I look out into the world today, or as you look out into the world today, what do you see? I see huge masses of division within our country. Neighbors who are unable to talk to each other simply because they have a different point of view. We pass judgment on people that we don't even know. As a nation, we are better than this, and it is time for us to start to come together. It is time that we stop pointing fingers at others, and we start to look at how we can improve our surroundings. As I look out over this auditorium, I am looking at tomorrow's leaders. Your educational success is not designed to hang on a wall. It is designed for you to use the lessons learned here to make your home, workplace, and communities better. This is not accomplished through hate, but through leadership, understanding, and compassion. As we look back through our classes, how many of us were allowed to have a different opinion? We did not stop talking with each other simply because we think different or we have different life experiences. We listened to each other. We opened our minds to other perspectives. Through open dialogue and exchange of ideas, we find common ground which we can build solutions. As you leave here today, I encourage each of you to go home and celebrate with your family and friends. Today is your day, and you should take pride in such a great accomplishment. But tomorrow, tomorrow is a new day, and with a new day comes new opportunities. Please, hang your diploma with pride, but remember, our hard work and the dedication of the faculty here at Campbellsville University is not, nor will it ever be, for a piece of paper. I challenge each of you to utilize the tools you have gained to affect positive change. You should never settle for the status quo, and you should always strive to make a difference. Reach for greatness, but always leave a place better when you leave than when you arrived. Thank you, and God bless. Good morning. We will now start our hooding ceremony for our master's students. So what is the significance of the hood? The hooding ceremony is a special recognition ceremony for master's degree candidates. During the ceremony, a faculty member places the hood over the head of the graduate, signifying their success in completing the graduate program. At the master's level, regalia consists of a simple black gown, what distinguishes the master's level's gown from a baccalaureate gown are the sleeves. Master's level gowns usually have long extended sleeves. Historically, these sleeves could have been used for pockets. The master's hood is a modern interpretation of the hooded robes worn by medieval monks who taught in the early universities. These monks would use their hoods to keep warm in the winter and also collect alms. By the 15th century, the hood came to be seen in England, at least, as a token of graduation and was given distinctive colors and lining. Undergraduate hoods were black and unlined, while those of graduates were furred or lined with fur or other material. It was eventually retained in a specialized form by the various faculties as an academic distinction, and now is the main means of identifying their degrees held by graduates in academic dress. The master's hood is three and a half feet long and features a three inch velvet trim that indicates the graduate's academic discipline. The inside of the hood displays the graduate's back and shows the colors of the school from which the student graduated. I think it's a great opportunity for our undergrads to experience the hooding of master's candidates. It's a, it's a great goal to set for yourself and it's a, it's a very special accomplishment, so congratulations. I will say the name and also those, the folks who will be hooding you as you walk across the stage this morning. 
First, we have Kyle Davis, Master of Science in Justice Studies with a criminology track. He is being hooded by Dr. Joey Budd. David J. Feggett, Master of Science and Justice Studies with Criminology Track and is hooded by Dr. Joey Budd and Dr. Kimberly Mudd Feggett. Candace Page Gibson, Master of Science and Justice Studies with Criminology Track, hooded by Dr. Dale Wilson. Caitlin Ann Hay, Master of Science and Justice Studies, Public Service Leadership and Social Justice Track, is being hooded by Dr. Dale Wilson. Katherine Johnson, Master of Science and Justice Studies with Criminology Track, being hooded today by Dr. Joey Budd. Let's have a final round of applause for all of our graduates. And congratulations, graduates. My name is Ashley Fox. I am the Director of Alumni Relations, and it is an honor to share this very special moment with you. On behalf of the Campbellsville University Alumni Association, I want to welcome you to a very proud, loyal, and diverse family. As a graduate, you now have a network of over 18,000 alumni. It spans many states and countries. You will always be a part of this community. Campbellsville University is in your story and your experiences. Be proud of your accomplishments and continue to be servant leaders in this world. From this day forward, you will be called upon to take on a new role, the role of an alum, Usually when graduates hear this, they automatically think we just want you to give us some money. Well, this is important. There are so many other ways to serve your alma mater. For example, you may be called upon to help recruit new students, or maybe you are called to reach back to campus and share insights and encourage those who are yet to finish. Whatever that calling may be, I encourage you to stay connected. Again, congratulations on your graduation and welcome to the Campbellsville University alumni family. As you exit the chapel, we do have a gift for you so you can show off your new CU alumni status. Thank you. Graduates, it is my privilege uh, to be able to close this out today. I know that as you sit here to us, faculty and staff, 
it seemed like you just got here and how could you possibly be leaving already? Yet I know from your perspective, this day may not have ever come fast enough. Um, but we're going to uh, pause before the Lord with a word of prayer. If you don't mind, would you stand with me as we get ready to do that? But just a thought uh, before I pray, a brilliant man, a humble follower of Jesus said that as we are a part of what happens, that our destiny is to be a part of a tremendously creative team effort under unimaginably splendid leadership on an inconceivably vast plane of activity with ever more comprehensive cycles of productivity and enjoyment. It came from Dallas Willard out of his book, Divine Conspiracy. And now as we pause before the Lord, Jesus, today we point to you as we should always do and give you all the glory and honor for who you are in this universe. Everything that we are and all that we know is only possible because it pleased you to create it. May we all continue to grow in a with God life. Father, let us remember that the single greatest thing we can ever be a part of is partnership in bringing your kingdom. Being your intimate allies and friends is the greatest honor of our lives. Lord, we thank you for being able to celebrate this day with our graduates and their families. For every hour spent in class, reading textbooks, completing homework along with all the testing and papers written, we praise your sustaining hand and spirit for the accomplishments recognized here. I am so thankful for my Campbellsville University family that have all been instrumental in this achievement. May your rich blessings follow all of these graduates as they transition into the what's next of their lives. Jesus, we love you and we pray in your beautiful, powerful, and glorious name. Amen. All right, students, we are going to have ushers get you all out this door Guests, you will all exit in this direction, and we faculty, we get to go last for a change. Thank you all for coming. May your day be blessed.